tutorial will be how to add a scroll to top button on your Squarespace site. And what that looks like is this. When you scroll down the page, there'll be a top button. And when you click it, it just takes you right back up to the top. So let's get started. So here we have our blank site where there's you know nothing happening when you scroll down. And it's kind of difficult when you are at the bottom of the page to find you know the, the menu content and so forth. Um, so we're going to fix that. The first step would be to add a button to the site. And we're going to add that to the footer content section. And it's important that it's added to the footer because we want it to show on every page and not have to go in on every page and add it again. But once we do it here in the footer, it only needs to be added once. So we're going to click that edit button on footer content. We're going to hit the plus button here and we're going to add the code block. So we're going to search for code and click it here. We're going to delete the default content and we're going to add the button code. That's basically just button and we're going to just add top. We're going to give it an ID of my button. And we're also going to add the on click action one time. And the on click action is it's basically going to trigger JavaScript that sends the page up to the top whenever the button is clicked. All right, so we've got that and we just hit apply. And we're also going to save the footer content. So as you see, the button is here in the in the corner where it was added, but it's not really looking nicely because it just kind of stays here in the bottom and it's it's gray against white font against the white background, it's not very um, distinguishable. So we're going to fix that. So the first step would be to go into settings. And then we'll scroll down and go into advanced. Next, we'll click on code injection. And we're going to add some CSS to make that button kind of stand out a bit more. All right, so we'll add here in the header section, we'll add our style tags. And right between those, we'll add our CSS for my button. Okay. So here, the first thing would be to add position fixed. And what that does is to make this button fixed um, on the page so that when you scroll up, it, it's still visible. All right, so we're gonna position that button to the bottom. 10, 20 pixels from the bottom and also 30 pixels from the right of the page. Right, so I'm just going to save this so we can see the changes so far. Right, so the button is fixed at the bottom, 20 pixels from the bottom and 30 pixels from the right. So no matter where you scroll up and down on the page, it'll still be visible right there. So we're going to make it a bit nicer, that button. So we're going to add a font size of 18 pixels. We're going to remove the border and add a border radius of four pixels. So it has like a nice curve on the border. We're also going to make the background red and the font color will be white. So we're also going to add some padding on the button of 15 pixels. And very important, we're going to add Z index. And what Z index does is to make sure that the button is on top of any text, um, no matter or other elements, no matter where you are on the page. So we're going to save that and let's see the changes. Great. So there we go. So it's a nice button, but you notice when you hover over it, it doesn't do anything. So we're just going to add a little bit of CSS to change the background color on hover. So again, we're going to use my button hover add our braces. And we want on hover to just to change the background color to gray, which is hashtag 556. Let's see how that works. Now we hover over it, it changes to nice gray. But you notice when we click on it, nothing happens because we haven't yet added that code. So we're going to scroll down on our advanced section to the footer. And this is where any of your JavaScript should always go to the footer of the page. We're going to start by adding our script tags. And before we had added a 
top function, unclick to the button, and now we're going to actually add the code for that. So we're going to start with function, top function. That's the top function is the name of our function. <laughs> and add our curly braces. And here we're going to add the code that says in the document, or rather the HTML element, um, basically scroll it to the top. Scroll to the top of the page or the HTML element. So we're going to hit save. And let's test that out. All right, so there we go. We click the top button and it took us right up to the top of the page. Um, but you notice when you're at the top, that top button is there. And you kind of don't want it to be visible because when they click top, nothing's going to happen. It only activates um, when you scroll down on the page, you want it to kind of work at that point, right? So what we're going to do is just to add some additional code to fix that. And what you'll do is to add some code that says when the window is scrolled down a bit, we want to trigger a function, uh, trigger the scroll function. So on scroll, we're going to call the scroll function. Now we actually need to add that scroll function. So we do function scroll function. And what, what we'll do is say if the document or the HTML element is any more than 20 pixels from the top, then what we want to do is to display the um, display our button. And if it's less than 20 pixels from the top, which means you're right up here at the top, we don't want this to show. All right. So if it's more than 20 pixels, we're going to say for this, my button element, where we this is where we use get element by ID. Just put in my button. We're going to add a style display to block. That means to show it. And then if it's less than 20 pixels from the top, actually, I'm going to just copy and paste this because it's the same thing. With the at section of we're going to use display set display to none. Let's hit save. Great. So when we scroll down, it's visible. When we scroll up to the top, it's not there. So we're just going to add one little bit of CSS again up here to my button and set the initial state of the button to none. So over here, the button isn't visible. When you scroll down, there it is. You click the top button. It's not visible again. So that works perfectly. So that's, that's it. That's how you add your scroll to top button to Squarespace.